Hello everybody. I'd like to say a warm welcome, and it is a warm welcome, but it's not very warm in here because the stove is not going. <laughs> in actual fact, I'm removing this stove and I'm replacing it with a new one. <laughs> Come and have a look. Yes, this stove to heat this space is not big enough, so just bear with me, I've got to bring in the new stove from the car. So, this is the new one. bring it back a touch yeah this is the maybe it's best if I get it off that trolley and get it down on the floor because I tell you it weighs it weighs quite a lot cast iron as you can imagine cast iron is heavy <laughs> so As you can see, I've got some of this foam mat down here. Keep your back straight. <laughs> so there it is, my, well, in that crate is my new wood burning stove so yeah let's unpack it this kind of stuff is useful this strapping, it can be useful for making pottery tools, so hang on to some of it. Wear a pair of gloves. Getting there slowly. Slowly. Be careful of these sticking out nails, you don't tread on them. So
Yeah, it's all in pieces. That's the door. This is the the uh, damper. It's going to go there. Aha, and these are the legs. Those are the legs. My new cast iron logwood stove from the United States Stove Company. Air control. So what I've got to do is put that together and I've got to put all this pipe piping together, which is a real, I good mind to take it back to the place I got it from and say put it together because I tell you this stuff does not go together easy. At least it doesn't to my, to my English eyes, I'm not used to this. But I can see what is supposed to happen, it's supposed to, the seam is supposed to join And, um, but there's obviously a knack to it, which I haven't yet figured out. Yeah, you really need gloves, by the way, when dealing with this, because it's sharp, you know. Yeah, I've got to really bend this in and kind of make the two lock together. But you know what, it's like, it's probably easy if you know how, and it probably you guys out there know how to do it in, in an instant and I and I've actually done it before with some pipe but this one is really causing me some aggro I tell you cool. I can kind of get one end in but I think I'm gonna get the professionals to put it together <laughs> I probably have to go down there anyway, again, because I don't think I've got the right amount of pipe to go there. So, folks, there it is. There's my new, my new wood burning. Let's take the camera off the tripod, and it's got a double. Um, Two things on the top there, two two hot plates, and um, it's considerably bigger than the one that's over there. You see, thing is, I have a workshop this weekend coming up, this coming weekend, and I've got to make sure my students have their home comforts. <laughs> No, actually, it's not just for my students, it's for myself as well, because I tell you what, if you're trying to make pots, you're trying to make pots in a, in a, in a, in a pottery studio in an environment that is cold, it, you know, it's, it's not a place you're going to want to be. So I've got to make this place a place where I actually want to be, because I know it's, it's warm so, and comfortable. So I've been gathering wood from up here, just behind the house, there's lots of woods and um, lots of fallen timber. And I've been um, cutting it up and uh, ready for to feed the stove. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's it. It was just a, just a little update, a small snippet of my life and what I'm doing. 
there's more to making pots than just making pots, isn't there? There's, there seems to be always other periphery things that we get involved in, you know, like, like what I'm doing here. And, uh, but it's all part of the, part of the whole, isn't it? It's all part of the whole. If you are a, like a full-time potter, you, you, you find yourself involved in a whole, whole range of activities. And I quite like it actually, because it gives, it gives, it gives one a break from, from the wheel. Um, there's a natural break from, from making, you know, when you packing the kiln and unpacking the kiln and firing the, the pots and decorating them, glazing them. It, it's a wonderful profession, isn't it? That we're, we're about, uh, it's very all round. I like it. So become a potter. <laughs> hey, we keep practicing. See you soon. Bye-bye.